What up, guys? Welcome back. Look at uh, screen. Industrial Village. This is a random Minecraft mod pack I picked up. I've been playing on it for probably six or seven hours, maybe longer. I'm not sure. Um, trying to kind of dabble a little bit. Um, I've been goofing around, playing some Minecraft. It's been a while. It's probably been, I don't know, maybe six months. The year I've done other mod packs, but let's jump into this one. So, Industrial Village. I tried to record this one other time, and hopefully this will load. So, we'll try it again. And see, hopefully it loads. And uh, basically, this is like a progression mod pack. So, you it, it, it takes a little bit of uh, getting set up and figuring out the, the I'm just gonna try to move around here for two seconds. Um, how this mod pack works? Um, there's no tinkers in this. There is a different kind of progression system for your uh, <gasps> items. So uh, let's actually open up this way. So. That was my intro. Just just farting around on, on playing some Minecraft. And uh we will get out our quest book and you get you get thrown into this page, but what you actually do is there's this this left side. You go to your first steps so you guys can see this. It teaches you how to start getting your feet wet in the mod pack itself. Um you can't just outright make a shovel or a pick or an axe. You have to go through and figure out how to get flint and then go through uh, flint tools and then being able to make clay and then being able to uh, get, a, get your first furnace and how you get a blast furnace and being able to actually smelt and get ingots and all that stuff. So I'm kind of past the first point of this so you guys can see i'm about to get the being able to get diamonds so i found being able to uh just a very very pro progress and progression system in this so like this is a very 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 small basic little um base i've made um and i'll kind of very very linear uh terrible terrible um all I've really done is I know kind of the next step in my book is getting into industrialization is uh, you're going to start doing the coal coke um, multi-blocks like blast furnace multi-blocks and some of that might use hemp. So industrial hemp could be part of, um, you got water wheels here. You've got, uh, right there, windmill. So, um, kinetic dynamo with a windmill. Um, we can maybe get into doing some of that stuff. So that's why I set up a bunch of these, uh, hemp seeds. So, I'm gonna kind of just just walk through how I got to got to this point in this mod pack. So basically, um, one of the first steps you make is your flint knife, and it wants you to it, it's it, instead of just dropping normal seeds when you hit um, grass and ferns, uh, you get these. So you get straw, and straw is uh, makes rope. So this is one of the first things you figure out in this mod pack. And basically, you need rope in order to make torches. So torches, uh, they've expanded on, on some of the patterns in the game. So we're going to kind of... I'll, I'll collect some of these for two seconds. And you guys can see the seeds that do drop. And you can also see these sitting on the ground. So these are pebbles. So pebbles, you have to collect pebbles in order to make flint. So uh that that's kind of i mean it, it's it's took me a while to figure this out i haven't this is a, a like i said a new mod pack for me and i mean there's tons and tons and tons of food all over the place you're not going to run out of food but 
being able to know kind of what you need to be working on takes a while. Um, and I will say this before I just start farting around and playing is the only real issue I've run into on in this so far is when I needed to be able to it. So the progression goes, you get to your iron pickaxe and then it, you should be able to get diamonds this way. Well, that's, you can't, you, my, all of my, so, so right now I do have a diamond pickaxe, but none of my iron pickaxes, uh, right here, none of these allowed me to mine for diamonds. It's the only step in this that I kind of had to kind of figure out a different way to get diamonds. Um, you, I couldn't just mine for them. Um, I had to, there, there's another thing in this game, uh, where when you get down to, uh, below stone and you start digging for my, for, um, for diamonds, you can find geodes and geodes. Um, when you throw down torches into a dark cave and you're low enough, you can see, th you can see things that are shiny and those are geodes that are reflecting back to you when you pick them up it's like a it's like a ball of uh something is is trapped inside the geode and you basically come up here to your workbench this is the uh the same mod pack workbench as uh tetra so tetra you can throw this in here and it'll give you a bunch of stats on on what on how to upgrade your um your weapons and your uh, tools. So you throw the geode in here and you can break these geodes open and I was able to find a couple of diamonds that way. So uh, I'm not sure what it did wrong with my iron pickaxes or my, you know, before I put these diamond uh, picks on these, so you guys can see, so watch this. So we'll, we'll pick up some iron here. And uh, we'll go back to this deal and we'll throw our pick back in here. And you guys can see, uh, we can put pickaxe head on here. So look at, watch this number right here. So I know, I know it's pretty small, but right now this has five on it. So five is, is the level, the tier level that allows you to, to, to dig for um, diamonds. Uh, when you put your iron ingot on there, it doesn't push it to five. So I'm not sure what it did wrong, but basically in the progression system, it, it, it does say you should be able to dig for iron this way. But on my, uh, on my pick or on my picks I've tried to make, it didn't allow me. So maybe it's, maybe it's something to do with the uh, socket I put in here. I put, I put a lapis on mine. Maybe that messed with um, my pickaxe, but regardless, um, it did not this this when this when this pickaxe had iron on it it did not work so anywho so this is kind of where i'm at you guys can once again see i've kind of worked my way through almost <clears throat> almost all the way um i did throw down my multi-block my coal coke oven and uh, you guys can see we're st i'm starting to make coal coke here and i've got some crescent oil um and that's kind of where I am with this mod pack. Uh, just been uh, trying to create a little area where I can make some farms. And like I said, this next step that I believe in this mod pack is going to be with this industrial hemp. Because this is what gets us into that industrialization part. So we're going to start jumping into this. I'm just going to collect some of this. And this is this stuff's great. This hemp um, just grows. It, you don't have to replant. You just knock the top off of it off, and it regrows. So it's like endless, endless. I know I'm gonna. <clears throat> I mean, I'm not sure how much of this hemp fiber I'm gonna need, but it has some amazing. Uh, you can go hemp fiber and look at it. So part of this mod pack. Actually, I'm gonna go like this. Go to options. 
actually. Okay, we'll do that. Apply. Okay, maybe this will help. It makes it a little bit bigger. Um, it's on my screen. It's huge. But we can go like this. So you guys can see hemp fiber. This is like, so like you can look up anything, any block in the mod pack or item in the mod pack and it'll tell you, you can right click and it'll tell you what it makes. So this hemp fiber, uh, you obviously grow it and you get a ton of it. You can make, make string, it makes tough fabric, it makes hemp rope. Uh, and then there's one other thing it made, which was really nice. You can, I can use it for instead of finding that rope from using my flint knife i can use hemp for making my torches which is amazing so now only thing i only got to really worry about is either finding and making uh charcoal and then i have endless torches which is amazing too so um they do have some so i've been so I'm going to try to try to get my bearings here and uh, what I wanted to work on. So I've got, I've got a little bit of storage set up. You guys can see I've kind of already been collecting my hemp. So I actually need to go like this. So maybe we'll, I'm almost done with this. So the only step left I have on this first kind of phase of the progression is, uh, going into the nether and it's asking me to go into the nether so at least iron armor uh let's put some of this here Made everything a little bit bigger for myself, uh, just so you guys could see too. And a little bit better. I think as lemons, citron, as well as eating sand, sand. The only real problem I found is there, there's just so much to these mod packs. Like, there's probably like 100, 200, 300 mods in this thing. we go like this. See, I, I, it doesn't say exactly how many, but you guys can see over here just how many mods are in this mod pack. There's just so many things that you get and pick up. You just get completely uh, overwhelmed with, with stuff all different kind you're finding stuff and chests and going into dungeons and things that are dropping off mobs that you just really do kind of uh overwhelmed with kind of everything going on until you get some kind of storage going um so what what was i doing so okay so we wanted to is it it might be flint and steel um so we'll take one flint and one steel here and just or flint and oh you know what it might actually be flint and steel because it is a progression i don't think it's going to be iron for a oh it is okay there we go so it does do that so that's part of the correct pattern and now we just got to go get some obsidian so i'm not sure how long this is going to take but what we are going to do is got my bucket so we got a bucket here and we're going to go downstairs or into my uh, kind of underground where I've explored a little bit and put this away and grab my sword. So I've been kind of filling this in. So this did not originally look like this this my little area that i have uh it was way different uh when i had spawned into this server i spawned right next to this village which is great 
these villages, like they give you every color of, of dye with flowers, these petals fall off and they regrow. So your colors are just easy, 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 easy to get. Uh, and so, I mean, look how cool this is. It's really, really cool village spawns. And then I've been kind of clearing out the ground into grass. And I eventually, you know, that's kind of where this, this kind of, I kind of took over one of their huts and I, I, I added on to it. But basically I'm just going to kind of maybe put some coal coke up here. Um, I don't, I'm not sure how much I'm going to need. And then I'm going to expand out that kind of flat area over there and make a bigger uh, the, 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 the things about these multi-blocks, especially these mul industrial multi-blocks is, um, or these mod packs is the blocks are just massive. Like they're all multi-blocks. They all take up a lot of space. So, uh, you got these, so you got a crusher, you got refineries, you've got industrial generators, you've got, uh, fermenters, you've got metal presses, you've got excavators, you've got arc furnaces. Um, all of these are multi-blocks, so they all are really, really bulky. They take up a lot of room, so uh, you just need a, need a lot, a lot, a lot of space for uh, these mod packs. So we're going to make some space eventually. Uh, but like I said, right now, I just wanted to go down. <laughs> I forget. Oh, yeah, we need to find. So there is. So somewhere down here there's a couple pools of lava so we need to make up some obsidian with this and then we have so i have not like i said i only just found diamonds and the ability to actually mine them so like i said my diamond pickaxe uh while we're down here i don't think so i have it pretty good and lit up down here we shouldn't run into anything. Uh, we'll see, though. So, kind of made this little deal a jump down. It's a little bit faster to move around with water. So, if you're trying to go down and then swim up, it's a lot easier. Uh, and plus, it, you're not going to run. I mean, if you have, if you throw water down, you're not going to obviously hit lava. It's going to cool it off. So. That's exactly what we're trying to do. And yeah, here we go. Okay, cool. So we'll do this. Some lava. Or right, make some obsidian. This, slide it up. So, gotta be careful. Some of the time the edges. But it says it works, so it should be good. We might get lucky and just find some, uh, anytime you dig down at this level, the deep slate, you can find diamonds too. So the reason I'm doing these sides is because I want to make sure that, hey, oh my God, look at that. What did I say? How ridiculous is this? There's diamonds right here. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Anytime you're next to deep slate, you have the chance to find diamonds. Might only be a single... Oh, there's two. Oh my god. There we go. That's cool, huh? I just like doing the edges. Make sure everything's... Uh, is... No th kind of threats, I guess. We'll do this. I'm looking at the bottom. Okay, so there's a layer below it. This... It should take a little bit. Obsidian always takes some time to dig up. Huh. I'll put blocks under these, and I think we should have enough here. Uh, there should be 11 on this first layer. All I need. Is it 11? 3, 6, or it's 10. We need 10. Unless, like, I mean, if I if my plan was to do um, enchanting, is 
I forget if the enchanting table is obsidian. It might be obsidian. Oh, this is kind of a rough spot. Uh, trying to mine up some obsidian takes a little bit of time. We're chilling. Six. That was weird. It looked like I was actually putting the block down, but I wasn't, huh? That was weird. Huh. Eight of them, huh? Wow. Cool. We should be safe now. It's got some diamond and we got some city and that's great. Cool. I think we're good. So we'll head back up and we will make the nether portal and finish this first part of Kind of the tutorial. I mean, I'd call it a tutorial. It's just showing you the basics of, like, even how to make a pick. So, um, we'll do that. And not only, I mean, obviously, so there, there's there's tons and tons of mod packs in here, and um, there's more monsters. So, so far, I found some, like, di like when you dig down, there's some dinosaurs kind of looking things down in the underground. There's some really, really buffed up skeletons and zombies and uh, creepers. They just run really fast. Um, they have way, way, way more armor. Um so I can just, so the problem with, not the problem, I can care less about my my level. So you can see I'm, I have 32 XP. This gate, the, this mod pack is just giving out XP. Um, I'm not too worried about dying and losing my XP. And then so there's also, so when you die, um, you're, it leaves behind a body. So like all of your, if you do die, your gear doesn't just get, get thrown on the ground and disappear. It'll just stay on. You just have to, you know, corpse run back like a Diablo and pick up your gear. You just lose your XP. So it's kind of nice being able to like not have to kind of fear for making mistakes. Uh, so we do have, so look at all this. Oh, this is actually flax. Trying to, oh, wow, that was three. That was great. So I'm trying to not have as much uh, hemp and trying to get some flax seed going, which is just a different mod pack, but it's things that you have to grow. I'm gonna go over here and do this real quick. Is I uh, have 
couple of flax going. Seven seed. Oh, there we go. Okay. So flax takes a little bit longer to grow and you have to replant it. So it just takes a lot longer than the this hemp is just like a plague because there's just so much of it. But I'll clear this one more time and then we can kind of leave it alone to do its thing. We're just going to get so much. But like, again, I don't know how much we're going to need if we go full windmills. Uh how efficient they are for producing some energy. We will see. Flax. Oh, wow, we're full. <laughs> uh, let's go like... Take. On the ground for now. Switch this. I want... All right, we got plenty of uh, <laughs> hemp fiber. Kind of cool. Got a bunch of seeds. Let's put those away. So we did. We got some diamonds, which is great. Uh, let's see. Is that this? Getting sidetracked. So we got down. We got our obsidian. Okay, so maybe, uh, let's, we'll just do this for now, I guess. See, look at how see how fast that hemp just regrows back. It's just you have you just you have a ton of it. I'm gonna come over here. I'm actually gonna run this way just a little bit. I don't want this Nether portal over here, kind of. Put it next to that tree. Um, not really sure if this is a good idea or not. Obviously, it's part of kind of the tutorial. So I'm just going to put it right here for now. Uh, we're going to put this maybe like put it like right here, like this, this. Not what I do that for, huh? Anybody? Okay, so it goes like this, this. Just go like this. That. It'll work. As long as it's a complete two by three, it should work. And flint. So fingers crossed this doesn't crash. Um, the first time I tried to record and load the game, it crashed. So we'll see. Um, am I worried about... I don't know. We'll see. Fingers crossed I don't lose my... It doesn't spawn us into lava and we die be really really bad but at least we have some extra diamonds wow look at this biome well oh. Like I thought, it's absolutely ridiculous in here. Just pure, look at all this redstone, what? So, look at that, I don't even, I'm not even, what? Look at down here. Wow, this area is nuts, okay. I am not worried about staying in here. My goal is not to die. <laughs> 
inside the nether. Um, so we completed, so we did complete those quests. Now the only thing I'm going to do here is do this. Don't want things coming through. That cover the back side. I'm doing the whole thing. I don't want anything coming through here. Because it can. So I know it's not loaded. So there, I shouldn't have to worry about anything coming through. But I don't even care. I'm still going to cover it. I have no idea what can or can't. If it stays loaded or not. And push its way through. So we're going to go like this. So we did complete. Uh, first step. So we'll do this. We did that one. And we did this one. I think we're good. The only thing that we haven't done is the, there's a couple side optional uh, quests that aren't part of the main quest line. Oh, Smoker. Oh, what's this? Base in a capsule. Can capture a region. Huh. It's like Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, these extra ones. So we got the main progression done. So maybe we can go to this. So coal coke. And this. So engineer's manual. You make it with a book and a lever. So we'll do that. Should have everything at our deal, and we'll start looking at this next part two. I think I was just throwing some junk in here. Okay. So, open this up. First of all, it's going to go to sleep. But we don't have any company. <clears throat> Let's open it up. So, oh yeah, so we need a oh, book. Well, the issue with that is canvas. Oh, perfect. Hey, look at that. See how see how cool it is? There's different options. So I can use straw for canvas. Once again, a book. Canvas and paper. The only one we're gonna have an issue with, but I think <clears throat> I remember planting some sugar cane somewhere, but I can't really remember where that was. Let's go over here. But I have not seen. Oh, there it is! Oh my God, perfect. We only need three. Do we need three? I think so. I'll still take these and plant them just so we have a bit more but i think we only need three we'll take those back we'll get some paper make our book and then we can get that manual and we can kind of look at it um get our feet wet We'll do this paper. I think we just need a, oh wait, what was that? Not it. 
cobblestone. I think it's cobbles. It should. I mean, if the if the recipe didn't change, there's our lever. Um, and then we needed not that. We needed the fiber like this. That's a little easier. Close it in here. Ah, maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't write it. Uh, paper. Again, paper is. Oh, no, it's not some paper. It was. We'll just look up book. Canvas is oh it's oh my fault it's raw. There it is. Okay, my fault. So if you double click on this search and then it will highlight it if it's inside your inventory. So not that one. This one. Canvas, nice. Paper would make a book. Perfect. A book and this engineer's manual. So we got that done. So now we can start treated wood. By treating wood with crescent oil, they will become fireproof. Okay, so this is where our crescent. This is perfect. Okay, so we did like I. So we do have. We did. Well, let me say this. Um, we have some coal here. So coal, like I was saying, we don't know how much of this is we're going to need, but I can at least keep my Coke oven running. You, all you do is throw Coke or a coal in it and it slowly burns it down and it makes coal Coke and it makes crescent oil. So we're going to take this water and dump it out. And... Uh, I think, so, probably after this. So, this first recording is just going to be kind of showing what I'm working on. But the next one, I'm probably going to blow out this wall right here and just make this so much bigger. We are extremely running out of room already. Um, in terms of, like, just being able to kind of keep the mod packs uh, separate. Because, like I said, there's so much to each one. So I did have a bucket of, there it is. So I already have one bucket. So you take planks, some spruce here, spruce logs. So it's, it's different. So you can't just, you can't just take logs and it, there's no recipe for them. There's, there's, this is extreme progression to this mod pack. You have to make saws you have to make axes um in order to can kind of cons conserve your gear so you take your axe you strip the bark off of it and then you take a saw and you cut it up into planks so you can see it made a bunch of planks if i use my axe on that strip or the the barkless wood it only makes one per hit but if you use a saw it makes four so it's just, like I said, this is an extreme progression to this. Um, so now we can take our, I believe we can take our planks and put a bucket. So we got treated planks. Um, and then maybe I can, I think this is fine. I can just go like this. I'm going to bring out a... We have a bunch of planks on us. We're going to take a crafting bench. Put it right here for now. So I can take the bench. I can take this. Fill both of these up. And then use them like this. And then 
Just keep doing that. Now we got 30. So we can see how much crescent oil, how much crescent oil we're going to need. We're going to need a ton of it. A ton, ton, ton. So we're going to need a bunch of these coal coke. Um, these, this took, actually took a lot of work. So uh, I'm going to show you guys what it took to actually make this damn thing. Um, we'll go back. So in order to make the, these, these blocks, you can see the bricks. So each, each brick, each coke brick took uh, takes either bricks, brick, and fire clay brick. In order to make those, um, it just takes. I mean, it takes a, takes a lot of work. Um, um, takes clay, takes sand, it takes gravel. Um, and then you have to turn, you need, um, you need these, you need a cutting board and then you make wooden forms out of wood. I mean, it's just very, very basic, very basic materials, but it just takes a lot of time to do them. And, uh, so it took a while, it takes a while to make these. Um, and so, like I said, we're just gonna keep this thing running and, uh. Which means I just need a lot more coal. So we'll see. We'll see how much. I mean, I know we're going to need a lot. So let's open up this. We'll go back to this step. Created planks. So we got. Oh, we need. Oh, it's asking us to get sixty-four of them. So it's going to take a while because we got to. We got to wait for the oil. But then we can do wooden barrel or wooden storage crate. Metal barrel. Ooh, engineer's crafting table. Let's see what this takes. So, like I said, uh, we need really do need it, like a, our own little area for this. Because this is going to completely fill our inventory with... Um, Treated stuff, so wood and then treated wood. Let's go like. We needed this. Um, and then we needed slabs. So I'm actually going to grab four of these regular. Because what we're going to do is we're going to make this. We're going to make this. So let's do this. 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 Oh, maybe, you know what? Oh, that is it. Engineer's crafting table. Problem is, I don't think it registers it because you have to do it in order. So we did just do this. But it's a progression system. So like I said, you can't skip steps. But I mean, it might. Let's see. Oh, it has storage. Look at that. Oh, my God. It has storage on it. Nope. Wow, that's so good. Oh, my gosh. This is amazing. Okay. So, I think some of the... Like, if I were to put this in here, it might just pull. We'll just see if it pulls from the inventory. Nope. Damn it. I thought it would pull from this inventory. That sucks. Vertical planks, huh? So interesting, okay. So it does not it did not register this, but we can go to the engineer's workbench. So, oh, it, oh wow, interesting, okay. Conveyor belts, powered lanterns, fluid pumps. Oh, okay. So we need the engineers in order to start making the. Engineers blocks circuit design logic. 
engineers tools okay so we could just work this way well like i said we're waiting on we just need a little bit of time uh wonder if it actually registered how many we had we can look at it so 40 out of 64 okay so we gotta do just a bit more of this nighttime. Ow. Let's do this. Need to wait on two more of these. I'm just going to do this real quick uh, while we're waiting. Hopefully this Enderman does not walk in front of me. I don't smack him on accident. Where is he? Might be underneath me, actually. Because of... Uh, oh, no, he's over there. Okay. Teleporting around, getting in, getting in the way. You can see how you can see how much uh amp we're getting which is great I think we're gonna we'll definitely find a purpose for all of it Need one more. Where'd he go? It's right there. I'm going to just make I'm just going to make some of this in the string so you guys can see Oh, well, there's a stack of string there's just a couple stacks of string I'm gonna look up torches real quick. So I'm just trying to buy some time here. The rope. Actually, it's just the hemp fibers themselves. That's great. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So already kind of getting some rewards for setting up those farms, getting some string, which is good. Uh, straw. Ow. Son of a bitch. <clears throat> I think that there is stuff we can do with all these seeds. Flax, I'm not sure. Um, I haven't really looked at the recipe. I'm just kind of stalling for two seconds here. And there it is. Okay, now we can move on. Okay, so this... Why, why, why? Come on, dude. Why do we do this? Thanks. 
I think you could have just stayed inside to do that. Whatever. So that should be the quest. I don't know why I didn't register it. Damn. Oh, wait. Oh, I wonder if they have to have it in my inventory. That sucks. Well, we gotta wait one more. Damn. It had to be inside my inventory. Shit. Oh, we just gotta wait just a little bit. <laughs> my fault. My fault. It's always gotta be something, huh? Endless, endless. Jump. Almost, then we can move on. Look at this. So, quest. I mean, next will be engineers. That's perfect. So, we can make that. And kinetic is. Uh oh. You love it. Okay. So, copper wire. Oh, okay. So, this is this is this is going to just be. Um, we're going to make a couple of these so we can at least throw like copper. So, it, looks like it does say we need copper. So maybe we can uh we do have some plates here and then ingots. Uh so the way that we made these plates is we had an in our engineer's hammer. So let's throw this in here for now. And we're also gonna cook up actually why I don't understand why it doesn't go like into the inventory. Okay, so we're gonna go like like this so we did have some but here's a cold coke so the cool thing about this is is the cold coke lasts a lot longer when you start cooking stuff so maybe we can take some of uh so here's some raw copper and i thought i had Maybe I don't have hardly any copper. I swear I saw some, but maybe not. Huh. Oh, I guess we'll take iron. So this is how this blast furnace is your, after you make a furnace, you make a blast furnace. This is how you get your ores <coughs> burned down into ingots. So we should be. Should have bought enough time to do this. So, there we go. Like I said, we gotta keep this thing running. So I gotta go out. I have a lot of homework I gotta do on this. So I need a lot more coal. I just gotta keep this thing full of coal. Um, let's see. So we need to do this. Well, now we should be done.
So it did not register that, but that's okay. Um, we'll make another one. So it was sticks. Um, oh, then we need... Uh, you do this. I don't like this. It's how this UI is just a little dark. Like that. This, this, make another one. That's how it registers. It has to be in your, oops. That's the engineers. Let's look. And this is complete. So now we gotta go to the next one, which is this deal. Fence iron. What if it's like this? Slabs. Oh yeah, we don't have the slabs. My bad. Um, it doesn't even go in the Inventory. Try to see if we could find it fast. Here's workbench. What about this? So we got this one done. Sweet. All right, so now we're here, and we want to do the, get our wire cutters, just regular wood. This, this wire cutters. Be done. Perfect. And then we're off and running. Engineer's toolbox, sky hook, metal barrels, wooden wooden barrel, huh? And store oh wow. Oh cool. Of liquid. Cannot hold hot liquids or gases. The wooden barrel. This is kind of well kind of work with our if we want to store some crescent oil in here. Obviously, it's not a lot, but metal barrel. Oh, can be hot. Okay. This wooden storage. Oh, interesting. That's cool. So we're going to start dabbling this. So kinetic dynamo. We do we got to start messing with uh so i'll show you guys how to do this so i they forget so engine so this is my regular iron hammer from tetra there's an engineer's hammer Oh, yeah, it's string. I forgot. Okay, so it's in here somewhere. Uh, need some sticks. I think it's one string, so we can do this. We're going to just try it. I think it's this. So you got... Oh, look at it. Oh, it stayed. Nice. This. And then this. So engineer, so immersive engineering camera. Might have already had it all. It's already, it's already in here. So I showed you guys how to make that. So you take this in, this engineer's hammer, and 
maybe not. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, it's two per. I forgot. So plates. So you take ingots and you get two ingots per plate. So we can do this. So what did we need these for? So our kinetic dynamo. We need four iron plates. And then um, for one of those. And then we need oil. It's a low voltage. And copper wire. So we got to cut. That gives us one. Wow. That's so much materials for this. So there's 16 iron. We don't have any copper. I mean, we do, but we don't. Right? Does it take? A uh, hole here. We just we need a lot of copper for this. So you guys can see this this pattern. So in order to make this coil, you need eight of these. So eight times four is thirty-two. Actually, I take that back. You get two per. So you need sixteen. Right. Oil. Each one of these is one. And you get four for two. Four times. We need 16. That. Here. Actually, we'll be able to do it now. So we'll take these snips. I think it goes like this. Or is it like this? Oh no. It is. So 16. We'll try it. So we need one, two, three, four. We need to go like this. So there's that. And then we turn around and do this. That's four. That's two. I'm just going to go like this. I don't care. We're going to need them anyways. Yeah, we need... Uh, oh, it's right there. Oh, my God. We actually have enough. I think. So go like this. 16. Um, oh, wait. I might have fucked up. We'll see. So, find out here in a second. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? I'm blind. Got eight. Hey, there it is. So, we got eight low voltage wire coils. Okay, so it's this. Not like this. This. Upper coil block. We got that part. This part. Now we just need this. Oh, we need one single. Eh, that's funny. I can just go like this. Take. Go this in here. Yep. Okay. Just need one. Apparently. Okay. This. 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 So iron plates. Four of them. This two four. Okay. Might be able to do our dynamo right now, right? The redstone iron. Not sure if it's like this. 
some kind of combination of this. So it's these two. Kinetic dynamo. It is used to generate energy in conjunction with a windmill and or a water wheel. So, must be placed first, then right-clicked on the front face with the device the player wishes to use to spin it. Placement is important, and it is the best to place it on a wall or tower as the blades can be oriented properly by right clicking within Let's see grit and cooked mutton huh so now we can get into windmill let's grab our dynamo what time is it an hour and five minutes um you guys can see so these windmill blades oh wow it's all treated wood uh, but I'm pretty sure. Oh. Wow, it's all. I thought. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. <laughs> well, cool. We're pretty close. We'll actually be able to get power, but I need the building. <clears throat> all this is fun and games. But if I want to somehow try to get into some kind of power, I need the building for it. So I'm going to end the video here. And the next time you see this area I'm standing, it should be a lot bigger, a lot more organized. I'm going to kind of break the mod packs into different areas. Try to get things organized, better storage, all that good stuff. Till next time, this guys, this is Gambler. This is... We'll do this industrial village uh, progression. So, see you guys soon. Peace.